uh, you want to look at the API documentation, okay? And, you know, traditionally, if you look in software companies, um, there's something called Swagger's a service that allows people to show their APIs. You can run, use, test APIs online. Most big technology companies who are, have four technology have like a Swagger account. So that's what I would ask for. Hey, let me see your Swagger account. And you want to look at, you know, look in there and see how many actual APIs are in there. There's a, it's a list. If you go to ours, you'll start scrolling through and you open them up. There's more and more calls and you know, you, that you can actually look to see because you may go, oh, you have an API. Great. What I really want this to do is have when someone calls in and, 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 and call, you know, that we can connect to the phone system and transfer the call to the right person. Well, well, you find out they don't have an API for the phone system. Right. Because that's not an API that exists in their world. They don't have distribution. So they don't have, oh, I don't, you know, or there's only a handful of these, or I don't even have a Swagger account. I just have a, you know, here's a list of it, and it's not even advanced enough to let you do test code in it. So you want someone who has a, a, a formal setup account, lets you do test code, lets you see all access, and you want to actually look and see how much, how many APIs are there. Like, what is it? Is this a big list? Is it a small list? And then the last thing I think that, I, you know, I, I um, as we're talking about, technology and, and looking at APIs, there's there's two parts to this. One is having the APIs, and the other is having what systems call our webhooks, okay. which is kind of like an API, which is more of, instead of an API is as a gateway where people can come and come knock and do yep. ask, ask us to do something. A webhook is our system systematically, when something changes based off a rule, we go out and tell someone what's going on. And then we can actually connect those responses back together, like what Zapier does. And based off the response from another system, we can then call over here for some new logic and update the next system and go back and forth. So they're active, right? So some APIs and systems, and you know, all the LOSs are like this. They, they don't have any active ones. You actually have to go there, and you have to knock on their door every minute, five minutes, ten minutes, and say, "Hey, did anything change?" And they right. can tell you through the API. Oh, yeah, these all changed. So it's hard to integrate those because now you have to have someone who builds that middle layer all the time. So if you want to connect it to another system with an API, you have to have some build a middle layer, build a middle layer, build a middle layer, so you can connect those things. It's code. I mean, it's not overly complicated or expensive, but it's work. Right. And then you're in the business of managing it. Now you're then you have to then manage this API and server somewhere, making sure that your little tool doesn't work. And now you're going to need to bring. You're going to have to hire an employee. You're going to start having the you know the resources to do that and. 